Hello and welcome to the walking talking topic on CERDs and indices question number five with me Mr Barton. Now what we've got here we have got an ind indices question we've got another fraction recurring decimal question and we've got a multiplication third question. Ideal. Right let's get cracking. Evaluate eight to the power of minus two thirds. So we've got <laughs> flipping out all our indices laws involved in this one. Let's deal with the minus first. So that means reciprocal. So that's 1 over 8 to the power of 2 thirds. Now let's deal with our 2 thirds. Now we spoke about this in previous videos. Power of 2 thirds. That number at the bottom, the 3, is the root. That number at the top, the 2, is the power. And do your root first. It keeps the numbers nice and small. So we want the cube root of 8, the third root, the cube root of 8, and then square our answer. So it's 1 over the cube root of 8 get our answer, just put that in a little bracket, and square it. So what's the cube root of 8? Well, 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, so it must be 2. And then we've got to remember to square our answer. 2 times 2 is 4. So we end up with a quarter from that one. Next up, express 0 0.004 with a dot on it, so 4 recurring as a fraction. Well, I'm going to treat this exactly the same way as I did the previous question. So I'm going to write it out. x equals 0 0.0044444, load of 4s. And I'm going to manipulate it so I have point, the thing recurring, after the decimal point. So point 0.4444444. So I'm going to need to multiply my x by 10, 100 and then also by 10, 100, 1,000, I think, to get it. So let me do the 100 first. 100 times by x is going to be 10, 100. That's going to be 0 0.44444. And then if I multiply it by 1,000, then I'll put the bigger one on top here. I'm going to end up with 10, 100, 1,000, 4.44444. And now if I subtract... The bottom one from the top, I have a thousand x, take off a hundred x, which I think is going to leave me with nine hundred x's. And I've got four point four 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 four, take off zero point four 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 four, which is just going to leave me with a four. So if I divide both sides by a hundred, I get x equals four over nine hundred. And I can simplify that a little bit, so I might as well divide top and bottom by 2. I get 2 over 450. Probably go one step further, top and bottom by 2 again. 1 over 225, fingers crossed. hope that's right. Um, incidentally, it hasn't said simplify it, so 4 over 900 will be absolutely fine for that one. And then finally, a bit of thirds. Simplify 4 plus root 3 squared. Now, I see this answered wrong time and time again. If you've got a squared uh, bracket, doesn't matter whether there's an x involved or a third or whatever, write it out as double, double brackets. So you get 4 plus cube root 3 times by 4, sorry, 4 plus square root 3 uh, times by 4 plus root 3. And then multiply these out. So 4 times 4, 16. 4 times root 3, positive 4 root 3s. Root 3 times 4, positive 4 root 3s. Root 3 times root 3 is going to be, oh sorry, I don't know if I've got a times there. Root 3 times root 3 is going to be root 9, but we all know that root 9 is just 3. So we have a plus 3 at the end there. So we get 16 plus 4 root 3 plus 4 root 3 plus 3. Let's tidy it up. 16 plus 3 is 19. 4 root 3 plus another 4 root 3 is just 8 root 3s. Be careful with that one. If you had 4x plus 4x, you'd just say 8x. 4 root 3 plus 4 root 3 is just 8 root 3. Do not be writing root 6 or anything rubbish like that. Okay, done and dusted.